I'm going to draw a meerkat and what we'll do is we'll start at the top of its head because I want my little meerkat's nose to be kind of heaped up in the sun and I'm going to exaggerate its neck and make its neck really skinny so it looks like it's really um, tall like the sentry meerkat that's watching guard over all the other meerkats. So start at the top, have your page portrait. I'm just going to do the first line over the top of its head like that and a little kind of kink up in the air. That's going to be the end of its nose, that's the top of its head. So if you can just draw a little line like that. Then I'm going to put a line for the back of my meerkat's head and then another line coming down here another curve and for my meerkat body I'm actually going to draw it it's sort of like a bottle shape so I'll do two lines for each side of its body and I'm going to keep it skinnier at the top so that will look like my meerkat is looks more sort of upright and exaggerated like he's standing tall on guard so this is going to be a meerkat from my book meerkat splash and um, that's a book about bath time for meerkats. And yes, when I went to Taronga Zoo, um, no, I didn't see any meerkats having any baths, <laughs> funnily enough. Um, but the meerkats in my book are uh, the little baby meerkats and they were kind of fluffier um, than the ones that I saw in the zoo. The ones in the zoo had sort of stronger markings. They were older um, meerkats. They get their markings as they mature. So the next thing I'm going to do is some shading down this side of my meerkat. So I'm going to do that. Um, I know I'm drawing with charcoal and you've probably got a pencil. Um, if you do get a chance to experiment with charcoal, it's lovely to draw with, but um, you can still get some pretty good results and shading with your pencil. So I'm just going little lines close together there. I'm going all the way down. This is going to give my meerkat some volume or depth by putting um, a bit of shadow kind of down one side. There we go. We'll just continue shading. And the next step is I'm going to do um, kind of like a rectangle shape, but I'm not going to draw the bottom of the rectangle, and that's going to make this little cutout shape here, which is going to be my meerkat feet. So I've just drawn that little rectangle shape and I'll just finish off the bottom of the bee cat feet. And they have darker fur on the bottom of their feet and the end of their paws. So I'm just going to draw a bit darker here. Then here. There we go. Just do a bit of shading. There we go. Um, so for my bee cat's eye, and they have a darker fur right around their eyes, I'm going to do... A square shape but I'm not going to draw the corners so I'll show you what I mean so one two three four so it's a square I haven't quite joined up the corners because I'm going to go over and make a rounded corner square there there we go then I'm going to shade in that that shape of my meerkat's eye There we go. And I'm going to do the meerkat ear, which is going to be kind of like an oval jelly bean sort of shape here. There we go. I'm going to shade that too. That's also a nice dark fur. There we go. Okay. Cute. Now we're going to do the meerkat paws. Now I want the meerkat paws to be sort of upright, um, like it's got them out the front of holding them out the front of him and I'm going to do that by doing uh, an M shape but it's going to be a really boxy sort of M shape. I'm going to do it in the middle um, so that will mean my meerkat looks more exaggerated like it's got a super long neck. So here's this boxy M shape that's for the top of those little paws and then inside that I put a boxy and uh, a W shape for the end of those paws. So there you go, she should be little paws held up like that. And I'm just going to put a bit of dark shade on the end of, end of those two, like we did with the feet. Here we go. Yeah, 
Okay. Next, I'm gonna have a little meerkat nose. Um, for the eye, I like to sort of circle in on the eyeball and leave a little gap in the middle. So I've got it. Um, like it's got a little, like it's got a little glint in the middle there. Um, let's add a bit of an expression, I think. Probably just like a hint of a smile. He's um, happy for book week, this little, um, I'm just blowing off some of the dust. The charcoal can get quite messy. <laughs> um, I'm gonna put some fur like fluffy bits of fur there we go and it needs a tail as well so just put the tail down there and a bit of darker fur on the end of the tail uh, that's lovely and i'll just put some texture on my meerkat um, a few little flecks of fur and there we go, it's looking pretty cute. Uh, Meerkat from Meerkat Splash. <laughs>